verse in Proverbs. Proverbs 12, 15. It says, the way of a fool is right in his own eyes. But a wise man is he who listens to counsel. A fool always does what's right in his own eyes. That doesn't make it right. Because he is not the standard bearer. He cannot set that on, on behalf of his own. This is why it says we're not to learn, in back, go back to Jeremiah, it says don't learn the ways of the world. Because the world doesn't know what's good. Solomon's talking about counsel, right? A wise man is he who listens to counsel. The counsel that Solomon is speaking about, I promise you, is clear from the start of his writings in Proverbs. It is God's word that has been given, and this is again from Proverbs, to receive instruction in wise behavior. Righteousness, justice, and equity, right? So that's why it tells us that we're supposed to bring up children in the ways they should go, and they'll not depart from it when they're old. They're supposed to be trained in righteousness. Mm -hmm. How do you train somebody in righteousness? Well, the Apostle Paul wrote and said, All Scripture is God-breathed and profitable. Profitable for what? For training in righteousness. Mm -hmm. So if a child is being deprived of the Word of God, he's not being trained and taught righteous behavior. Mm -hmm. right? Yes. You wonder why we're having such a problem with, with people out there? So it's no mistake that the prophet Isaiah, God spoke to the prophet Isaiah and prophesied. This is a great promise back mm -hmm. 750 years before the birth of Christ. He said, for a child will be born to us. A son will be given to us. And the government will rest on his shoulders. And his name will be called Wonder Counselor. Mighty God, Eternal Father, Prince of Peace. Isaiah 9, 6. God is our counselor. He is the one that instructs us. Jesus promised, I think he said, but the comfort of the Holy Spirit whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you all things and bring to your remembrance all that I said to you. John 14, 26. Well, the Greek word that's used there, as a matter of fact, some translations say the paraclete, mm -hmm. some translations say the counselor. Right. That's the Holy Spirit. Right. right. Okay? So then, the community and the individual, otherwise known as the world, are not reliable, they're, they're not only not reliable judges of what's good, what good behavior is, what moral behavior is, but they actively promote immoral, unrighteous behavior. Yes. That's the nature of the, of the being. Yes. It is. So, that's the way of the world. This is why we are warned. This is why we are warned. We are counseled. Mm -hmm. Woe to those who call evil good and good evil, mm -hmm. who substitute darkness for light and light for darkness, who substitute bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. Isaiah 5, 20. And then that's why we're given the command not to be conformed to this world, but to be transformed by the renewing of our minds so that we may prove what the will of God is, that which is good and acceptable and perfect. What's the will of God? Well, I mean, we talked about this last week. How do, you, how do you know what's good? Because God told us. He has told us, he has told you, O oh man, what is good. Anybody know? Love, mercy, do justice, and walk humbly, humbly with, with your, your God. God. Okay. So it, can't, it couldn't be otherwise. It couldn't be otherwise. Because we know that we are of God and the whole world lies in the power of the evil one. 1 John 5, 19. So in both of those cases that I've talked about, either where the community or the individual determines what constitutes proper or good behavior, mm -hmm. the result is ultimately chaos, which is the evil one's playground. Chaos is a void, a separation. Mm -hmm. I only know of one who can bring order, and God is a God of good order, out of chaos. And the earth was formless and void, and darkness was over the surface of the deep. And the Spirit of God was moving over the surface of the waters. Then God said, let there be light. And there was light. Genesis 1, verses 2 and 3. Okay? Mm -hmm. Chaos is, is confusion. But it's a void. That's, that's literally, by the way, where the word comes from. In the, in the Greek, what it means is a separation, a void. Like a chasm, right? Separation from what? From God, because God is not a God of confusion.